Here's a look at what Walls brings as running mate in an election showdown with Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. We can get out there, reach out, make the case. And for one thing, don't ever, don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. You know, we have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> and, and, and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it's interesting, actually. They, they make an interesting tag team because, of course, Tim Waltz allowed rioters to burn down Minneapolis in the summer of 2020. And then the few who got caught, Kamala Harris helped bail them out of jail. So Flashback. Harris sending this out on X. If you're able to chip in now to the Minnesota Freedom Fund to help post bail for those protesting on the ground in Minnesota. Thanks to Harris's promotion, the group reportedly raised $35 million in just a few weeks. And I want to also add, I've been texting right. with our news director while we've been on the air saying, I know you have a request into the governor, anything, anything, anything. And they are refusing uh, to make any kind of statement right now. Listen, we know they're busy. But I can't think of anything more important right now right. than explaining to us why we are allowing this to happen again. And once again, we are asking the governor, we're asking Mayor Fry, what is the plan here? You said there was a plan yesterday. You said there was a plan for today. I give a, a heartfelt thank you to a lot of people for, uh, for the peace and the generosity, the kindness and the love that's been shown on our streets of, uh, of Minneapolis, St. Paul, and across Minnesota over the last several days. And last evening was another example of that. We, uh, we saw peaceful protests across the city. We saw memorials continue to grow for George Floyd on 38th in Chicago. We saw beautiful interactions on the state capitol. We're out of respect. The National Guard troops there told the protesters out of respect they would go back away to the building and just take care of those vehicles that were out in front, which of course they did. Uh, uh, not protesters at that point. Uh, certainly uh, neighbors and friends. Explosive testimony from a Minneapolis police union official who says that the governor ordered cops to abandon that third precinct during the spring's rioting. I was in the command post. I heard it. I heard the governor say, give it up. Who announced it? It is citywide tone right now in our loss of the third precinct. The third precinct has been compromised.